trying to get this done legislatively as opposed to something that no one really would care to see for at the end of the day, something that we can't control via constitutional amendment. He hasn't told you blanket that he's going to veto any minimum wage increase. He's open to having well, I, I, I won't um, um, betray any confidences of the conversations, in particular of conversations I've had with the governor, mm -hmm. except to say that he's familiar with our priorities. Uh, I'm familiar with his priorities, and we're going to work together on a bipartisan level to try to uh, move this state forward. Mm -hmm. And then just wrapping up, um, is there any water or any weight to uh, what the restaurants brought up in terms of a possible legal challenge um, coming forth of having to do with the legislature raising the minimum wage as opposed to the Constitution setting that level? Well, I, listen, I, I can't get, get into the, you know, the mindset of the Restaurant Association. I don't know what they're going to ultimately do. Uh, we have a good authority from our legal counsel that what we're doing is perfectly constitutional. We can raise the wage, we just can't go below the floor set in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. We're not looking to drop the minimum wage from seven and a quarter to six and a quarter, for example. That would be unconstitutional. We're looking to make it a living wage, and by raising it, we think we're uh, entirely within our constitutional authority to do so. All right. Thank you, Senator. Cool. That's it. Thank you.